Hi everyone, Ranger Kendra here with this week's session of Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuges Thursday Virtual Marine Science Lessons. Um, and so this week's lesson is going to be a little bit different because it is an extension or an addition to the lesson that I brought you last week. And so last week we learned all about this really amazing group of marine mammals that live in the ocean called baleen whales. And so baleen whales are those whales, those are those animals that are the largest animals on the planet, um, the largest being the blue whale that can get between 90 to 100 feet. Um, but all these baleens, whether it's the humpback like I have in my hand, the gray whale that you see here, or that great big blue whale, they all have something very special in their mouth. And last week we learned that stuff that they have in their mouth um, is something called baleen and it helps them to eat. It's a really efficient way um, for these great big animals to feed. Um, and so what I wanted to do today is actually talk a little bit more about how baleen works and how efficient it is for these great big animals. So this is a adaptation that they have that allows them to be the biggest animals on the planet eating some of the smallest and they're able to feed their great big bodies. And so again, I wanted to show you just a quick demonstration, a simple demonstration that shows just how well that baleen works or just how efficient it is for feeding these huge baleen whales that call the ocean home. So hang on for just a second and let's go check out how this stuff works. Okay, so um, really quick, I wanted to demonstrate just how efficient this baleen and these great whales actually is. So remember, you have some of the largest animals on the planet, like our beautiful humpback whale here, or our gray whale. And inside their mouths, they have that baleen. So those layers of baleen, like you see here, hanging down from their top jaw. And that baleen works just like a filter. Remember all those little hairs that hang off of the baleen? Um, they, these whales will essentially open their mouths, take in a huge mouthful of water, push that water out through the sides of their mouth, and all these little hairs hang on to their prey or hang on to their food. And again, different species of, of baleen whales have different sizes and shapes of baleen uh, in their mouths. Uh, this one again was from our minke whale, and this one here is an example of a humpback whale's. And um, again, they open these their mouths, take in a big mouthful, and they're able to catch their prey. And they're hunting for things like small fish, like schools of herring. Um, they're looking for uh, things like krill and zooplankton that are all floating around in the ocean. And so our demonstration here is going to look at just how efficient this form of catching prey is. So again, they're trying to um, supply enough energy for their great big bodies. And the cool thing about baleens is this is such an amazing adaptation that the biggest animals on the planet are able to eat enough of the smallest animals on the planet. So biggest animals on the planet eating the smallest animals on the planet. Um, and they really don't use a lot of energy to catch their food. And so in this bin that you see here on the table, we're going to imagine this is our our ocean and floating around in the ocean is our zooplankton and krill and the cool thing about the ocean itself is it's like a big soup there's all kinds of life all kinds of things floating around in it and so um, we're going to add our zooplankton and krill that would be one of the main food sources for these great big whales and it's all through it so i'm going to kind of mix this up a little bit and they float at the surface and they float down um, at other depths as well all right, so now that we have all of our um, krill and zooplankton in our ocean water, um, I'm got, I've got two items here that are going to represent different ways that animals can catch their food in the ocean. And so the first one are going to be this set, the set of tongs. And so these tongs are going to represent um, an animal just coming down and trying to scoop it up with its mouth. And we're going to just open and close it across the water and see what these tongs can get. And so if we want to tip sideways, not super productive. It didn't really get too much. That's definitely not going to fill up one of our great big baleen whale bodies. And so my other item 
is this comb here. And the cool thing about baleen is a lot of times it's compared to the teeth of a comb. So all those little hairs that are in the side are coming off the inside of the baleen that help to filter that food in the whale's mouth are compared to a comb's teeth. And as we skim this comb through the water, those teeth should catch on to that zooplankton or that krill pretty well. So let's see how well our comb does. And so we'll come over here where there's still some zooplankton in the water and see if it actually pick some up. All right, so quite a bit of our um, krill and our zooplankton. And again, very little effort is used by these great big baleen whales to grab onto and hold huge mouthfuls of food. It's a really efficient way of hunting without using a lot of energy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about just how well this baleen works for those great big baleen whales. Um, that live in the ocean. I hope you join me next time for our next session of our marine science virtual lessons. I'll see you again next time. Bye!